Hi everyone, welcome back to another fitness blog with myself, uh, Stuart Pilkington here at Switch. Right, we're going to talk about mixing it up uh, and trying to get you to do some different things within exercise. Now, I know we can, we can really get attached to a certain form of exercise. I myself, it's yoga, I'm obsessed with it, I do it all the time. Um, lots of my clients and friends have sort of become obsessed with CrossFit and doing weights and it's very easy to kind of get results from one exercise and then get so attached to it that that's the only thing that you do. Now it's really important that we offer an entire kind of bible of exercises here at Switch and we do and that's why you'll notice the programs are so varied and they change regularly because I need to get you doing different things. The reason for that is because it's change that stimulates the body. Change is good, remember. Change is good, change is good, change is a good thing. So we want to mix things, we want to experience new things, just like everything in life. It's never good going to Skeg Skegness is, I'm sure, brilliant. It's never good going there every single year of your life, is it? It'd be much better if you at least ventured out to, I don't know, Blackpool, uh, Scunthorpe, um, anywhere really. You, you're going you're gonna to enjoy yourself a little bit better if you have a little bit more variety in life, variety to spice of life. And it's true, and it's the same with exercise. What your body does, when it gets so used to an exercise, your body wants to survive and exercising and moving and consuming energy means that it's using up its fat stores. That's brilliant. But what your body views them fat stores are, are a way of storing energy in food for a time when it might go through a starvation period and that's what the body does. So it never actually really wants to get rid of fat. It wants to keep it there because it thinks, hold on a minute, if, this per if I stop eating soon, I've got nothing in me, I've got no stores to help me survive. If I store fat, then it's going to keep me living longer. So it never, ever wants to get rid of fat. Never think that it ever does. It doesn't want to get rid of fat. So we need to keep tricking it and making it forget what it's doing and challenging it in different ways to ensure that it's always craving and always ready to burn fats. The best way of doing that is simply changing exercise. Forget about intensity. Forget about changing reps or lifting more weight or running faster or running harder. I mean completely changing, completely tearing up what you've done and doing something different. So if you're doing one of our 20 minute uh, workout programs or one of our 20 minute fat burning programs, they're brilliant. And if you've been doing the same one for the last three or four weeks, well done, brilliant. That's great motivation. It's quite mundane to keep doing that, but well done. You're obviously quite a well really well motivated person, but stop now. Stop now, choose a different program. Ideally something completely different, something completely off the wall, even if it's just for a week. Do a bit of Zumba, do a bit of aerobics, do a bit of yoga, do a bit of Pilates, and it's this variety, it's this entire spectrum of exercise that will shock your body and change it and help it ex continue its goals in different ways. So while it's brilliant finding an exercise that you really love and a hobby that you really love, and I don't want you to let go of that because if you're enjoying something, that's the most important thing of exercise. But remember, variety is the spice of life. Change something within your exercise program, get a little bit spicier, and you'll see more results. See you later, guys.